<laughs> Let it loose! Hello. Hey, Alan. I totally messed up the thing I was supposed to do with Simone last week. I overslept and missed the flight. Are you serious? <laughs> Yeah. That's so bad. Did you go to bed really late or something? <laughs> my phone was on do not disturb mode, so yeah. my alarm didn't actually go off. It sounds like you need to have someone build you an alarm clock. Uh, I don't know about that. And oh, are we building an alarm clock? We got one of these beckoning cats, I think they're called. I was searching waving cat and everything corrected to beckoning cat. Do you have any idea what they're called, Cameron? So check out my PJs. It's got cats on them. Also, I feel like we should play a game of hot or not really quick. And oh no, cameraman, I have very bad news. What if we took one of these beckoning cats and made it knock over a glass as the alarm? Your punishment is you have to clean up broken glass or instead of having an alarm, that's the sound it makes is broken glass. We haven't really thought this through. Hello. This is all in Chinese. Oh, this is made in China, <laughs> that's in English. <coughs> So we have about 24 hours before we need to, oh God, what are we doing? We need to make the arm more powerful. We need to decide where to put the clock and it might be kind of weird to put it like, I don't know, I was thinking that'd be a little funny, but then how do you get it up there? Maybe there, maybe at an angle, like right there. Is that weird? Stop waving. And, and that final your cables are broken. Whoops. Perfect. We could take it apart. Yeah, let's do that. How do you do that? Take that off. Um, how do we get this off? I'm just like dragging a bunch of stuff around with this cat. That was, why? Oh yeah. What, how does this work? Oh, this is cool. It's got like an electromagnet in there. Can you see that? See that right there? The electromagnet? So it just, oh no, it looks like, is that a magnet or is it just a piece of, oh it is. So that's a magnet. What's that thing up top? Is, oh, is that a magnet too or just a weight? How does it know when to turn it on and when to turn it off? I don't know. I kind of like the idea of just having a severed floating cat arm wake you up in the morning. That's pretty horrifying. Uh, oh, so what did Alan do? He was supposed to fly up to do a live stream with Simone and then didn't wake up in time and missed his flight. And then he had this super awkward, like, how do you call someone and tell them that you just totally messed up everything? Then I was like, let's fix that. And here we are making a cat alarm clock. That's what happened too. I'm trying to think, is there a better way to describe that? Alan was supposed to do a live stream with Simone, missed his, fright from, fright, missed his flight from LA to San Francisco. William Osmond's making a cat alarm clock. So there's still stuff in here, but I'll wipe it out with this old booger napkin. It'll be like this, like it's time to wake up, but imagine this is glass and it shatters on the ground because that's what cats do is they throw your things on the ground when you don't want them to throw your things on the ground. Which why would you ever want your cat to throw your things on the ground? Either way, we're taking it for granted and we're gonna build an alarm clock that does exactly that. Our first soldering iron stopped working, so I think we've resorted to what might just be the worst soldering iron I've ever seen in my life. I miss all my stuff. It's actually not bad for such a terrible soldering iron. The LED display is soldered. We pulled the servo off the conduit machine, or at least the bucket of all. Doesn't smell like chocolate. And now we need to figure out how to mount the servo into here and then attach the arm to it. Uh, the super glue isn't sticking at all, so we gotta go to the store and get some newer and better super gluer. Where do you get super glue? Like arts and crafts or can we go to the grocery store? You know the problem with these, these pants is they don't have any pockets. So I kind of look like I don't know. Like I'm stealing stuff? I'm hungry. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Meow! Alan! Alan, meow! It's time to get up, Alan! I mean, meow! Welcome to tomorrow, and thank you, Sophie, for the cat shirt. We forgot to say that last time. But check out what we've got. Uh, we, <laughs> this is bad. This beanie needs to be put back together because it is going to find a new home at some point. But we have borrowed the electronics and battery and stuff. The counter counts, and the cat's arm moves. Let's take that off really quick to show you how that does that. 
Let me turn this off. Oh yeah, the switch. The arm needs to come off to take the motor out of the body. The issue is that it twists on, and when it pushes forward, it essentially unscrews the hand. So if we want to push onto a glass, it's going to push the hand back and the hand's going to fall out. This little piece of plastic, it's kind of hard to see. Actually, I'll just take it off. A piece of plastic that fits in right there, and that keeps the paw from flipping out. Look at the servo just like wiggles all around. So what we have to do right now is throw the audio files onto the soundboard and then figure out how the, how the whole sequence of events plays. We gotta panic and finish this because we're gonna leave. We were gonna leave to go up to San Francisco tonight, but now we're gonna go tomorrow. What does that give us, like 12 hours? Ah, oh, we always wait till the last minute. Wait, are you filming? It's failed Mythbuster Alan Pan, an avid sleep-in advocate. And we're on our way to San Jose right now. Tomorrow morning, the plan is to wake Alan up with the alarm clock yeah. and then go up to Simone's to film his video with her. Side note, we think that that black SUV right there has two giant boxes full of bees. It says live animals. Cameron John said it says bees on it and they've been driving erratically, which makes me think yeah, some of the bees so... have escaped. Oh no, they're getting oh, away. Dun, 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 dun. This is gonna take a while. This guy sucks at driving. Can you see? Are they bees? Life product. How many bees are in there? You can just roll the window down and ask him. I do see a picture of a bee. Yeah? Yeah, there's like a kind of yellow jacket thing. How do you tell? Bio bees? Bio bees. Let's Google that really quick. Right. That was totally the logo on the box. That's can what it looked like. Can we buy a box of bees? How Where much do you buy a box of bees? Oh, should we make bets? How much do you think a box of bees costs? Uh, $200. For how many bees? Uh, a million. <laughs> a million bees. <laughs> it's a big box. We're going right now to uh, a hacker house. I'm not sure if this is actually going to be in the video because I don't know if we're going to be allowed to film. Some guys are in a sweet house and they do hacking and that's why it's called the hacker house. And I hope we don't lose our kidneys. These houses look, I think, nice enough to know that the people in it aren't going to steal our kidneys. They probably made their money by selling kidneys. Did you bring your spare kidneys? <laughs> I forgot mine! You will arrive at your destination. This is the last time I ever saw my kidneys. No, I've never actually seen I've my kidneys. Seen my kidneys. <laughs> I hope to never see my kidneys. This is the first time you ever saw your kidneys. It's like its own piece Man, of Man, he was not lying when they said that they lived in a mansion. Wow. Holy crap. There's a fountain! <laughs> oh my god, with no water oh in it. God! I'm gonna assume we can just park here. Just I mean, here. probably. Why not? That's a very, like, nice intimidating knock. <laughs> nice knocker. I love how we start talking about how we're gonna lose our kidneys. I think. <laughs> oh wow! It's what is this? That is actually a, a jail cell. Like we're like underground oh in a mansion. Is this for like the stereo for the theater? Are we under the theater right now or something? No, we're under the living room, and this is the sound system for the house. So all the rooms have speakers. There's something. Oh, there's a chair too for when you want to DJ. What? It's like straight out of an Indiana Jones movie. Like you need to have a skeleton here with like he died here doing his job that he loved, which was DJing. What is the key there for? There's a set of keys. This no. is... What? What? You don't know what that's for? No, no clue. There's not even a keyhole. <laughs> there's the socket. Let me see. <laughs> no, there's two keys. You have to put one in each. This is not the most bizarre room in the house. Oh, there's, it gets weirder? It gets weirder. You got a big booty, Alan. Look, there's like a key. This is wild! <laughs> Whoa. Ah. What is that? Is that part of like the mystery and, and lore? Exactly. These are where we keep our flamethrowers. Oh. This kind of looks like what I would imagine like a crack den. <laughs> it's like scattered needles. What? Needles. This would be a fancy crack den. <laughs> well, I don't know. I have not been to very many crack <laughs> This is the weirdest one. It looks pretty tame from an outside perspective. Uh-oh. Is there just a crazy echo in here? And there's no lights, I'm guessing, because why would you... What? <laughs> oh, these lights. Do they work? Nothing. What? 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 Where the heck? Are you... This is... This is terrifying. This is really scary. Please, this is... Uh, it's just a dead end. It's a horror movie and the victim is getting chased Alan. by the killer. And you end up here, you're like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's pretty good acting. <laughs> Fantastic. Is it wet? It is. That's cool. You should put this on Airbnb. You 
you sort of have this idea in your head of what stupid is, and then you meet a chicken, and you're like, oh no. Weird watching this. <laughs> when you see you go to bed so that we can wake Alan up in the morning? Stop. You can't do that. Okay, it's like 7 in the morning, and we're going up to meet Simone at 10, and she's like probably an hour away with no traffic, so we have three hours to wake Alan up with the alarm clock without waking him up, setting the alarm clock, get Ginger to go poop, and, uh, and then driving up to Simone. Come on, Ginger. I gotta squeeze the poop out. This dog is all floof. There's no actual dog when you squeeze it. <laughs> Come on. I think that would have gotten us in trouble. This isn't our house. Is Cedric still here? Cedric. Yeah. <laughs> did, we up, did, did we wake you up? No. Do you, do you want us to come in and wake you up? It's so disturbing. What the heck is going on here? So there's an Arduino, a soundboard, Bluetooth speaker, but it's just hardwired. We're using the battery from the beanie. We just wait. Why did you need the whole? Beanie we, well, we didn't. Just... The, but the problem is that we stole the electronics from the beanie to use this, and then we're gonna have to put them back in the beanie. But the battery terminals were like hard soldered to the circuit board. Yeah. It just has this cancerous lump behind it. Good deal, Alan. Yeah. You ready to go to Simone's? Yeah. We tried to get you to poop earlier, but instead you pooped on the floor. A foot away from the mat. But you're so cute and you smell like vanilla. Hey, at least it's not like diarrhea. To Simone! First burritos! Hi, hi burrito. Autopilot, engage! The wheel pilot. Thank you. Oh, we didn't really cover the whole story about what happened. You just didn't wake up in time to get on a plane to film with Simone. And uh, there was no other time I could have done it. It was a live stream, there was a set time, and we had planned this for like two or three months ahead of time. Missed my flight probably by like an hour. How mad do you think Simone is at you? I think she never wants to see me ever again. Hey, you look different, Simone. Sorry. I like it. I like the new you. You're falling apart right now. He was asleep in the car, he was. so he might not be... How, how mad are you at Alan? I'm not, I'm, I'm really not mad. I'm so sorry. We, we like, we hyped this up that Simone was super angry at Alan and Alan just totally messed up. 
No. I did. No. Oh. It was like, Alan, she's so mad at you. Look at how mad she is. It was really fun. I mean, I, I was just amazed. Right, we're trying to make drama time. here, dang it. <laughs> it was unprofessional. It was so Let it loose. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've been doing so many Do you have any things. rotten fruit? <laughs> it was a bummer that we didn't get to use the project because, I mean, I... Yeah. I took full advantage of the situation, though. Wow. We we uh, made an alarm clock to wake Alan up. Mm -hmm. It was. It worked. It was. It woke really him up. Good. I, Wait, you guys I woke have already up. filmed it? Yeah. Yeah. Did you actually fall asleep? Yeah, he was, was actually asleep. Yeah, we asleep. woke up early this morning. Oh no, I'm nervous now, and it's making me less steady. I'm I'm just gonna yank it. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work. I didn't. It. I could. I, okay. Bye, Cedric's house. Bye. I got my laser tube and my pies. You might be asking, where'd you get laser tube? And it's a really weird story. Yeah, we found it in a dungeon. 